Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me on the launch pad with a weird contraption. This is something I've, well, very quickly thrown together to test some of the physics of the game. Now you may know that some of the parts uh, in Curl Space Program are physicsless to mean there's less processing done on them because it's quite a laggy game a lot of the time. So that's what four of these parts are. Obviously the probe weighs something, the decoupler weighs something, but um, these two struts weigh something. Uh, no, weigh nothing even, and these two engines weigh nothing, so that's that's pretty useful for what I have planned. So if I were to put infinite fuel on, um, and then to throttle up the engines, they would fire, you know, forever. Um, and if I decouple this, so if I get them going, and then decouple and switch to it, didn't do it fast enough. But yeah, you see that, the physicsless parts go off by themselves. Um, I will manage to see them in a second, but... Um, they go off by themselves, and because they have no mass, their acceleration should technically be infinite, because if you think of the equation F equals MA, which is not particularly useful in a lot of situations because mass increases and decreases with change in energy, but, you know, it's actually a pretty good ground for some things. Um, since F equals MA, um, acceleration, that's force equals mass times acceleration, if you don't know, that means acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. So... The acceleration will be equal to whatever force, say 40 kilonewtons is what these will provide, divided by the mass, which is zero. And anything divided by zero equals infinity. So you'll have probably already worked out um, by yourselves that this should technically have infinite acceleration and therefore infinite speed. However, um, well, let's just take a look at that. Let's see if that works. Um, okay, so I'm going to fire the engines and then I'm going to have to switch very quickly. Okay, I didn't switch quick enough. That's not good enough, Peter. This is a challenger in itself, getting the spacecraft. And you, you're probably starting to figure out, wait, if it's infinite speed, then surely you can't catch it in the two kilometer zone. Well, we will see. Um, no, I will, I will do this, I've done it before. Fuck! I hit spacebar twice, not switch twice. I swear I had it. Do I only have to click switch once? Hmm, well, we'll figure that out, I guess. Um, maybe I hit it too many times? No, because it's order of precedence. Okay, I will get this. I have done this. Okay, I think I only have to hit switch. switch sw I only have to hit switch once. In the past, I've had to hit it twice. Switch being switch between spacecrafts, which is the um, square brackets. If you wanted to know, um, then if someone will ask. Uh, oh no, that's not right. There we go, and it's accelerating and it's burning, but it's not traveling at infinite speed, and. You may be thinking, well, there was air resistance, it wouldn't be accelerating infinitely. However, you know, air resistance is a force, and since there's no mass on this, it shouldn't actually act, and <laughs> it's starting to turn. But you can see, this is one times time accelerated, we're going away very fast. And uh, it's pretty incredible, and if you look at the map, we're going very fast, we've already passed the moon. Um, we're about to hit the sun, but we're turning because of instabilities, which it shouldn't really do, because no force should act on it. But still, um, force other than this... But anyway, that's not my, my that's not my point. My point is, um, we're not traveling at infinite speed right now, are we? And it wasn't infinite acceleration. And why is that? Well, obviously it's because we're in a computer program. And in a computer program, you can't have infinity. You can only have, um, uh, what is it? You, well, you can only have, well, the largest number that can be stored. Because obviously you can't store infinity. Um, so... The largest number you can have in a 64-bit number, which would be a double precision floating point. Oh no, that would be... Well, I think it's somewhere around um, 9 times... No, 2 to the 63, of course. Yeah, that would be the biggest number, and double would make it a little bigger, I think, because it would be 2 times 10 to the 63, but it's around that kind of... So it's a very big number, and it might if it used 32-bit numbers, it'll be much smaller, but still rather large, but yeah... So obviously you can't get infinite acceleration. I don't know what this is doing. It's going fucking downwards out of the solar system. But yeah, it's turning right now. Um, so yeah, that's why this isn't accelerating infinitely. Um, however, weirdly enough, it, it wasn't accelerating at like nine to the two to the sixty-three or two to the thirty-two because those would be unbelievably large numbers. Um, weirdly, if I put more engines on this, it'll accelerate faster. So are these parts really massless? Or is the equation in the uh, Unity Unity engine done wrong? Did they not expect me to want infinite acceleration? I think that's the case here. Um, I was doing this while testing variable thrust, and um, I discovered 
something I did not think I would. I obviously knew it wouldn't be infinite acceleration. I mean, I'm not, I'm not stupid. Um, unless they wrote that in specifically um, to just be gone, which it should be. Um, so we throttle up again. And now it's actually accelerating faster. It might be kind of hard to tell, but it is accelerating faster. Because um, the frame rates are fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look at Kerbin now, it's still turning though. That's annoying. Um, yeah, but we are accelerating actually a little faster, which is really odd. Uh, let's take a look at the G's. 15.2 G's before. I can tell you it was half that before for some reason, even though it should be much larger than that. But I can tell you it was half that before. So it actually accelerates at twice the twice the speed with twice the thrust, which makes no sense because um, it doesn't matter about the force when the mass is zero. So you can conclude that this is not a zero mass, even though it says zero tons, and these are all massless engines. Unless it takes into account the... Th uh, the uh, weight of the fuel going out of the exhaust, but I don't imagine that it would. So yeah, that's odd. But are there any practical uses for this? Well, um, you could try firing it at Duna, I guess. Uh, not Duna. Well, you fi try firing it at anything you want. So, I know Jules almost overhead. Um, if this is the save file I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jules pretty much overhead, which is totally by accident, by the way. But yeah, you can see on the map it's basically overhead, which is useful, so we'll warp until we're in the right sort of position. Just rotate curb in a bit. Well, we can rotate the planet, we can accelerate infinitely, what can we not do? Um, alright. I reckon it's that step separator that's holding this all back. Okay, go. There we go. That's pretty fast. Alright, do we have an encounter with Jewel? Almost. Encounter with Jewel, and that'll take Okay, the game's wrong. Uh, well, we've gone past it, but that would have taken six days. Um, how? Oh, now we're turning, though. That's the problem, is you have to somehow stop this turning and somehow stop the thrust. So, you can't put a physics listing to control that on... Wait a minute. Do I have mech jab installed? No, I don't have mech jab installed. But, obviously, you could put mech jab on it, which would probably help. Um, mm, that would have made a better video. Uh... Well, I uh, will just put a very light probe core on here. Not point naught four. I wonder what our acceleration will be like with this. We will find out. Um, hopefully, something decent. Although you can keep adding those uh, thrusters and not uh, have any more, any extra mass, just more thrust. So we'll figure something out. Um, so yeah, that's just. I'm just seeing if you can do something useful with this because the whole point was uh, obviously that. Oh, I don't need this bottom bit anymore, do I? Uh, oh jeez. Yeah, point upwards. Target Jewel, I want to see how fast I can go there. Um, I will run out of power relatively soon. So that will be my constraint. And I'm not putting an RTG on here. Um, so yeah, uh, the fuck, oh yeah, okay. Oh no, I'll run out of power really soon. Go, there's no time. Right, hopefully the- oh, you know what's physicless? Batteries. Um, how much does this weigh now? Yeah, 0.04 tons, so not that much, but you can see its acceleration is still not as anywhere near as good as it was. And we're out of power, so that was useless. Alright, let's try putting maybe a battery on there. I want to say batteries are physicless. Well, we can test that by putting it on the side. Um, oh no, solar panels are though. Solar panels are absolutely physicsless, these ones. So if you want a high-powered ion engine, use these. Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna test that it's physicsless actually by putting it off to the side. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, this is one of the weird things you can do in the game. Um, this is a shame that it turns by itself, or I could have had some fun going to duel incredibly fast. Um, or if I was smart enough to install mech jab, which I might do it just at the end to have a physicsless power power. Oh no, it has no torque, so it wouldn't actually help at all. That's a problem with Mechtrip. Uh okay, good. That means thank God this video isn't totally invalid. Um Okay, you pop off. I'm using you now, I think. Yeah, perfect. All the power in the world. Let's hope that this is really a physicsless part. Go! Why you do this? Oh fucking hell. Yeah, well this is going well. 
There we go. It's fine. Let's target Jewel. We can turn, so it doesn't matter. Um, mm, I've clicked out of the program. Nice. Good job, me. <laughs> it's really, really great video quality. Um, hopefully I won't hit Duna in the process, because it's like right in the way. I'll just buzz right past it. I'm all powerful. Um, I'm on... Oh my god! Yeah, so that is physicsless as well. Um, so yeah, you can build yourself a pretty masslet as... Yeah. You can have as much propulsion on here as you want, as long as you are using the infinite fuel cheat, of course, because obviously the problem in the real world is fuel. Um, but yeah, you can still see it accelerates pretty fast. Um, and obviously I could slap a bunch more on here. I could slap a bitch. No, I could slap a bunch more. These don't have torque anymore because... Fuck my life. Great. That's what I want. Yeah, but they, the thing is they do have control, so I will be able to get there pretty quick. And that's the important thing. I thought those gimbaled. Man, this is not going well for me. We have an encounter with Jewel C? No, apparently not. Oh, I'm going through north. Okay, so I completely forgot those probe cores don't have any torque. Right, this is making it just harder and harder by the fucking second, isn't it? 0.1, too heavy. 0.03. And it has stability assist. Doesn't have any actual torque, though. Uh, mm, 0.1. Those are all quite heavy. Um, <clears throat> does this have torque? No. What a bitch. Um, hmm. Give me one minute. So, what if we had a physicsless probe core that had torque? Well, that's what we have... Somewhere here. Yeah, here we go. Mass zero. And I have, I basically, I went into the configuration file. I made a copy of this. I said it's mass values to zero. I said it's physics significance to one, which means it's physicsless, I believe. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do something of that. That's where I uh, dashed off to. Um, so four parts. No, it wasn't four parts, was it? That's what I used to go to Gilly, I think. Um, infinity, 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 infinity. Uh, ICBM and ha 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 ha. Yeah, I have some weird stuff in this save file. Um, so yeah, enough of that horrible, mass-based, disgusting. We don't even, oh, well, fuck my, uh, okay, so this is the physicsless one, right? Yeah, okay, good. And we'll put this on, well, we can't put it on the bottom for some reason, which is most annoying. Uh, we'll put this there. We don't need the decoupler. Epic. And these are all physicsless. So, awesome. Can look messy. Doesn't matter. We're going to break science. Um, Alright, I'm hoping it's mass is zero. But I may be wrong. Um, I'm hoping I modified it right. Basically, well, I'm, I said it to physicsless and I said it's mass value to zero. What more do you want? Um, man, I hope this doesn't just, like, explode the universe. You can't control the forces, Peter. Uh, uh, yeah, mass zero tons. Alright, Iru. This might just work. Um, more physicsless craziness. Alright. Set. Jewel is my target. Lock SAS, which I do indeed have. Full throttle. And infinite fuel. Epic. Yeah, that's not accelerating that fast, is it? It's because these are dragging. I forgot to set their drag thing to zero. But once we're out of the atmosphere, I think it'll be okay. I I think I may have left their drag on. So hopefully we'll see a massive jump in um, acceleration when we leave the atmosphere. Hopefully. 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 Oh, fuck. This isn't looking good. Come on. Hopefully they're just on minimum drag. Please work. I'll be quite annoyed if it doesn't. Fuck. Right, so something's not right. <sighs> yes, yeah, so I've done something wrong, haven't I? Uh, 
Okay, well, this has failed, but I hope this video has been somewhat uh, insightful into the physics of Kerbal Space Program and why you can't actually achieve infinite acceleration and how you can get as close as possible and how to not make physicsless parts. I blame these solar panels. I don't think I set them to properly physicsless. Well, I thought they were physicsless anyway. Or maybe I just didn't do the probe right. But anyway, so yeah. Um, even the uh, loopholes in the game cannot be exploited that well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.